Hello, in this video, I will match colors of this photo to a reference image. My grade will combine the function of transferring color gradients from the reference image and the using of external LUT mode called Masked Alt. There are separate videos on the channel about copying color gradient and Masked Alt mode. I recommend you check them out before watching this lesson. I will leave the links to them in the comments. So, let's go! I will start with copying skin color from the reference image. I'm going to choose an eyedropper and add skin color from areas of different brightness to the palette. It is important to add the full range of skin brightness. Now I will switch to the reference and do the same. There is a suitable color transition from light to dark on the forehead. I will take colors from there. I will also take additional colors from other areas of the skin. I will sort my color samples by luminance to see what I have selected better. They all look fine to me. I'll zoom in on the girl to see how her skin color changes better. And everything is ready for the second step. I go to Edit Menu and click Match Color Gradient to Reference. The transfer of luminance can be slightly weakened so that the skin does not appear so dark. Color variability should not be reduced here. I will return it to its place. Saturation can also be left as it is. I click OK and here is the result. So half the job has already been done. The skin was matched fine. Now I need to match the color of the background. I will record the current color correction settings in an external lot and reset the settings. Here you can see that it has appeared. I will turn it off for now. Now I'm going to match background color using the matching color gradient function again. But firstly, I need to clear my color palette. This can be done through the menu. I'm going to select the eyedropper and get colors from the background of the reference with different brightness levels. Now I will take the colors from my image. I will sort all color samples by luminance to make it easier to evaluate the selected colors. That sample is a little knocked out by a hue. It is better to remove it. Now I'm going to select Match Color Gradient to Reference from Edit Menu. Color variability can be reduced to make the background more uniform. The transfer of luminance can be enhanced so that the background becomes darker, as it appears in the reference. The result suits me. I click OK. I will go to Mask tab. So here I have an external LUT that matches the skin. The LUT which matches the background color is loaded into the program itself. They need to be combined. I'm setting the external LUT into Masked Alt mode and I'm turning it on. I'm selecting the mask based on image warmth and turning on Mask Preview. Those areas in the image that have become dark are affected by external LUT. It adjusts the color of the skin. Light areas in the photo will be affected by the current LUT, which adjusts the color of the background. To avoid hard color transitions in the photo, try not to make the mask transition border too sharp. I turn off the preview of the mask and this is what I get. This is how the photo looked before. This is how it looks now. Compare it to the reference. Thus, using the matching of two color gradients, I have matched colors of both the skin and the background. Color gradients are combined using special mode for external LUT called Masked Alt. This is a rather complicated color correction, but if I omit all the explanations, it can be complicated in a minute. This once again shows the power of 3D LUT Creator. I hope you appreciated this video. Leave comments if something is not clear, but not before you look at individual lessons on transferring the color gradient and using the external LUT mode Masked Alt. Bye everyone!